Welcome back to the Yoski. I'm Gray, and today we have more finished Premier League action for you. Um, just a little update. I have come to a decision. Um, one of two things is going to happen. When we're done with this season, um, I think we're going to be done here with this, with this team, with this club. Um, as I mentioned before, we do not have the um, the pay structure to um, re-sign any of our halfway decent players. So basically, even if we were to win this season, uh, we would be hard pressed, like to win the league. If we were, if we did win the league this season, we would be hard pressed to find any replacements. Um, it's not that we don't have the money. Um, in terms of wage budget, they just don't have the pay structure large enough to fucking pay any of the guys on our squad. Um, I don't know how and why that is. I've never encountered that problem before. But it is a problem. Um, usually, usually as your pay, um, as your uh, weekly wage goes up, your, um, your uh what do you want to call it your um your pay structure goes up with it meaning you'll be able then to sign more and better players um we unfortunately still cannot fucking do that so um like i said with major players like oyala who will likely just move to a finish premier division rival um that is what that is and Jesus Christ, we are still without Monsalve and Schoberg. God, how long are these fucking internationals? Sweet Christ. They've been gone for what? Two, three games now? Anyhow, alright. So that's that. Um, quite honestly, four players out through injury or internationals isn't too bad. Honestly, just the two injured players isn't bad. However, um, we, um, yeah, we're still kind of up, up a creek without a paddle here. So, uh, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Ricin and... Oh, so let's go. Where did Ramasaho go? Okay. I'm going to do this. Because I can. That's what I want to do. I think that will, um... Will be a good idea. Or a better idea. Anyway, um, yeah, Haral is out, let's see, ba Bachman, okay, Bachman, you, uh, uh, you'll just stay out, and it's not that big a deal, I don't really need you that much, um, should we leave Saxila out there, oh, Romali, we can probably drop Romali, I just saw that. Let's do that. Let's go with let's go with Beist and, and drop Ramali because he's a little tired. All right. Anyway. So, all right. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get here. So, let's get on and uh, save game. So, um, like I was saying, I think after this season, um, I don't know how long. It'll be, um, how, how much longer will, how much longer we have to go? I think I said we're about, like, a third of the way through this season, I think. So we're still, we're still got quite a ways to go. Um, but like I said, I think at the end of it, um, I'll be playing FM16, probably something like that. Um, and I think we'll pick up a different team somewhere else and, Try and have a little bit more fun. Try and do something different. Um, doing the European thing is not necessarily something bad. It's just one of those things that... Um, it's just... I've just done it a lot. And for me personally, it's kind of like... It's kind of it's kind of old now for me. Um, like I said, I mean, I play this a lot on my own. And I'm doing exactly what we're doing here with three different teams. So... You can kind of see how this kind of gets a little redundant. Um, yeah, we'll just go with that. 
Um, however, uh, hold on one second here. Got to find the... There we go. Had to find a remote because I just realized that this is going to be really loud when I start this match. But anyhow, so for me, like I said, you can kind of see how this is getting a little redundant. Um, so I kind of, I kind of just need to do something a little bit different. So like I said, I think we'll start in Asia and either pick up a Japanese or Chinese club. Um, it would have to be Chinese if it was on this engine on FM14 because quite honestly there are there are ways to unlock um, the Japanese clubs and I don't know I may go and do that if if that becomes what we're gonna do Ooh, my lord to say I think he's way off sides there but anyhow um like I said I uh, could do that you basically have to go and mess with the database and shit um i'd have to do a little bit of research i looked briefly at how to do that and then i was like you know i would have to start over so fuck it and uh wasn't that interested in it. however if we're gonna do it for an lp like i said i'll probably go do that if i needed to do it on this one however there's already like little uh they already have like patches and shit like that out for um for uh for like the Japanese league, and that's something too that's starting to happen. If you look at some of the um, the modified shit that's out there, it's uh, they throw in a lot of those things in there now as well, because that's um, just it's just one of those things that a lot of people uh, like doing. I know uh, some people on some of the fan sites do like um, you know uh, like post the story of their careers and all that shit, and some of them have like actual goals. I've seen one where they. And their goal was to win, I believe it's to win the Champions. Is it to win the Champions League on every continent? I think. Like the local Champions League, like obviously the European Champions League is one thing, and then the CONCACAF or whatever the hell they call it over here in America and whatnot. And of course, you know, I have a, do it with a South American club as well, and then do it with like an Asian club, and then an Australian club or something like that over in Asia. So, like I said, there's there's a lot of modified shit like that, and um, those leagues that they don't have um, licensing for, like the Japanese league, the J League, for some weird reason, I don't know how they don't have a license for that, that uh, they still have, um, you know, uh, modified databases and shit like that that you can download. Like I said, I did it on my uh, FM15, so... If all else fails, we can just play that. But of course, you know, if FM16 is anywhere near being out at that point, which it might be, like I said, I don't know how long this will take. Um, this could take quite some time. This could not take a whole lot of time. So, it is what it is. Not really, uh, not really too worried about it. Like I said, I kind of, um, kind of been a little burnt out on this, on this save file. It's, and that's, that's something too. Like, not a lot of people watch this shit, and that's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't expect a lot of people to watch something like this because it's like football managers all over the fucking place. Kind of like with Pokemon. I mean, that sort of shit is everywhere. You know, you're not gonna get on YouTube and not find that sort of shit. But like I said, personally, I en I enjoy that stuff a lot, and um, you know, I think we'll use it as a filler programming because that's really what it is this is something that's really easy for me to record when um myself and carrot aren't all able to um to play uh to play lotro and stuff like that or whatever else we happen to be playing so um that's that but anyhow like i said you know i'm i'm interested in something new and and all that good shit so i think we'll go ahead and try that um once we're done and dusted with this season um ooh. like i said i am i'm really excited to play at least in china and you know you know what i've actually given a lot of thought to is having two clubs and doing two clubs in a uh, in an lp but we'll we'll think about that well like i said that's that's all well well uh well off into the future so anyhow I suppose we should focus on the shit 
at hand. Which is this match right in front of us, huh? It's going about as well as we can expect. Um, although one thing I, I am going to mention, um, uh, this may be understood as cheating to some people, which is all well and good, but whatever country we do happen to, um, to, uh, do in the future, wherever we happen to move to, uh, whatever league is there, we are going to, um, increase the rate at which regens pop in that, um, in that league, in the country, whatever you want to call it, because, um, it does actually make a difference. Oh, you deserve to score there, so we Jesus, that was some good passing. Um... Oh, uh, fuck, where was I? I am going to increase the regenerate for that country because, um, quite honestly, I don't think for an LP it'll be all that fun. Oh my god, Wusu. Jesus. We're doing everything but score here. That was wonderful. Um, I am going to, like I said, increase the regenerate um, because beating all the teams constantly without any, any threat of losing isn't all that fun. Um, at least not for the viewer, um, and having changed some things on my, on my own when I play it, um, I've noticed that some of the teams that are local with me are actually getting better, and, um, you know, that's good. That's what we want. We want those teams to stay, um, good around us, so like I said, so that these everyday games like this are, um, are are fun to watch like i said i mean if you're gonna play it and, and all that good stuff it's pretty it's really easy to do that though like to pick a smaller league and dominate i mean that's but like i said the, the un unfortunate thing is that they don't have in the engine oh jesus oh please oh my god oc has been playing really well he's had a good run of form lately for us really should have done more with that but he kind of got hacked down there but anyhow, like I said, it's, unfortunately the game doesn't change the regenerates, you know, in, in any way, shape, or form. So you can't really, like I said, and it affects more the, um, the lead that you're in and the other teams. It makes them a little bit better, a little bit quicker. I mean, in my, in my, one of my clubs in Ireland, they, like some of the other clubs have gotten a little bit better over the years, but just not nearly enough. I mean, just now that I actually did change the regen rate in Ireland, just to see what would happen, really. I was like, what the fuck? We'll see what happens. And quite honestly, like I said, it, it makes quite a bit of difference. Now you're actually starting to see those other teams with some pretty good talent. And I, I like that. Like I said, I want to be challenged in our league games. And, you know, I just prefer to play in more obscure parts of the world, though. But like I said... It's it's more fun, but um, and I'm pretty sure I'll continue um, using the same uh, using the same tactics and whatnot um, going forward as well. It will be um, it will be interesting to see how it works out on a new engine and all that shit. Um, usually, when you do, a lot of things have to be changed, which is kind of which isn't something that I really like all that much. Quite honestly, I, I wish. I wish they didn't change the match engine so much that, you know, um, that, um, that you have to really revamp your shit all the time, but, every time there's a new game out, but, like I said, it, I, in the name of advancement and better AI and all that good shit, I'm okay with it, and more control, which, you know, like I said, they've kind of had some neat things, um, in FM15, but, just in general, and like I said, I hope they go away from all that lame as hell fucking motion capture fucking automated shit. Because it's just not something that I like. Like I said, fuck, they hacked you guys down in that game. Sweet Jesus, I had guys that just fucking fall over. Like, they spent more time on their ass than, you know, on the pitch. I mean, it was ridiculous, oh boy. 
Ron Holm showing off a little bit of his fucking offensive skills. And all that good shit. Oh, that went out. I didn't know that. Oh my lord. Sweet shit. Somebody wanna fucking get to that? But anyhow. Um, one thing I will do too is uh, we'll um, we'll have new hair packs and face gen packs and all that shit. Why you ask? Because quite honestly, this game just generates way too many bald players. My God, just like holy shit! I'm so glad I fucking did that. Now, of course, you got a bunch of really, really weird, whack ass fucking hairstyles in this game now. But it's. <laughs> Just so many bald people with just the normal face gen shit. Just like, good god. I mean, when half your team is bald, it was, it was a bit much. Just a bit, a bit much. But anyhow, like I said, um, a lot of that shit will probably come out, you know, around January and stuff, so. And like I said, a, a lot of that stuff is um, backwards compatible and shit like that, too. And. And, uh, which means, you know, a lot of the face gen packs for, like, FM14 will still work on, or FM15 will still work on the new one, usually. Um, without, without much, you know, without much, oh, I thought that was, that was on target, that was in. Without much, much issues, so, um, all that will probably be taken care of as soon as the game comes out. But, like I said, we'll see how that shit goes. Usually there's a big ass patch around January and stuff and that'll probably be when um, we do we do start up a new LP of this and in all honesty if we're done before then which I'm sure we will be we'll probably just stop this and not do it and I'll just do something else or just you know continue the Carthage campaign or something like that to fill in the meantime so oh that was a free header too hmm I guess it. I guess I should mention that I um did not uh not pick out a uh, match a match training uh, option for this week. Kind of accidentally skipped past that. Jesus. I mean, yeah, this is something too. Like, this is one thing that. Look, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my theology on this, and this is. This has worked decently for me so far. Games like this. Okay. Uh, you know, this is once again one of the reasons why I have the stats up here. Is I always look at the stats. I'm, I I like stats. I don't, you know, live and die by them. But I look at the clear-cut chances. I look at the shots. I look at our on-target shots. We just haven't finished it. And, you know, I'm, o I'm much more okay with a result like this. Especially if it ends 0-0. Zero, zero, than I am you know, clearly, you know, losing or whatnot, you know, because this is just, it's just one of those matches where I don't think we really need to change anything tactics-wise. I don't think we need to go work on attacking movement for the next match because we've had chances. We've created chances. And that's what, for me, attacking movement should do for you. It should create the chances. You know, whether you finish the chances, I guess, to me, is up to the players. Um, like I said, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that upset with the way this has gone, and like I said, I don't think we need to work on attacking movement, because, like I said, that's just all movement, I mean, it's, I, I do wish we could actually specifically choose finishing, something like that to, to work on, but, um, you know, maybe that's a, an improvement in the future. Jesus, really, Hagelum got a fucking cheap-ass yellow card there. But anyhow, um, yeah, so, like I said, I mean, of course, you know, a lot of that changes if they score a late goal here, which they could very well do, so, I'm fucking serious. <sighs> and see, and that right there is why we need our fucking goalkeeper, like, what the fuck, why does he have to be gone for fucking... I mean, what has it been? It's been a while now. I mean, fucking Christ. And anyway, like I said, I've... I hate to say this, but I've kind of given up on this LP. Or this team already, because of the fact that... It's like, well... We've got the money, but... 
for whatever reason, we're not allowed to fucking use it. So, it is what it is. And we don't have really anyone. I mean, I already took people off. I already took out our fucking fullbacks because our fullbacks were playing like shit. Clearly, that didn't help us at all. But, um, anyhow, it is what it is. And, you know, once again, I mean, this is one of the bigger teams in the league, and I'm not really that... Not really that upset with the way things have gone. I mean, once again, I mean, they're going to get that fucking hair dryer treatment here as soon as this match is over with. But, like I said, just. I'm not too upset about that shit anymore. I'm not. Like I said, I, it's just. Like, that sort of shit, like, when you get the money and for whatever fucking reason that you cannot understand, especially when you've played this game enough, it's like, hey, we should have that shit working out. Like, they're just really discourages me it really does so all right so now i'm a dickhead fuck you yeah fuck you you shitty keeper bastard seem demotivated i don't really care like seriously what do you want me to fucking do like hey you were great but you just fucking screwed it up at the fucking end you dumbass because that's what really happened somehow though this is what's fucking great because HJK and FC Lati drew. Look at that. We're still top of the fucking league. Granted on goal differential, but it is what it is. Alright. Why did you move all the way to the next fucking day? Jesus Christ. Anyhow, I don't think we have any injuries to go take a look at. Um, no one got injured during the course of that game. We will probably never have our goddamn starting goalkeeper nor our brand new signing back anytime soon. But that does it for this episode. You made it far on YouTube. You know what to do. And I'm sure we'll be disappointed as always next time.